musical tone. When we listen to a group of musicians play, whether it's a rock band or an orchestra, we're not only hearing dozens of musical notes, we're also hearing hundreds of higher frequencies. These harmonics or overtones sound above the fundamental root notes we write down as music notation. This combination of all frequencies together make up the music's tone. Even a single note played on an instrument produces many pitches that together are perceived by our ears as bright or mellow, trebly or bassy because of the balance of sound produced by these simultaneous pitches. When many instruments play together, this mix of frequencies becomes very complex. We've all seen tone controls on music players and have friends who love to turn up the bass. Others appreciate clear highs or treble frequencies that add sizzle to cymbals or edge to a guitar solo. More useful than the tone dial are graphic equalizers on car or home stereos. Graphic equalizers often have a display of a number of frequency bands from bass on the left to treble on the right, with controls below each of the bands that allow separate adjustment of the frequencies. Imagine a graphic equalizer displaying 1,000 bands instead of just a few. If we use this to take a snapshot of the music's frequencies every few milliseconds, then line up all of those snapshots together, we can build a 3D image of the music playing over time. The following animations analyze the frequencies of music to show the notes and tone of each instrument. Remember, the images that you will see do not show sound by location, but by frequency. In these first few clips, bass frequencies are on the bottom and range to the highest treble frequencies at the top. A line of yellow light marks the point in the image that is currently playing in sync to the sound. Timbre and overtones of pitched instruments. Fundamental and overtones. The fundamental is the loudest low frequency in the note. It is the root or foundation of the note and the pitch we write down in musical notation. Above the fundamental are the overtones and harmonics. These overtones occur at mathematically predictable musical intervals. Flute. The western metal flute produces a mellow, rounded tone because the upper harmonics are much softer than many other instruments. Let's watch a single flute play the note A440. Here it is at half speed. See the changing patterns in the fundamental and harmonics as a single note is blown on the flute. These constantly changing patterns create a much more interesting and evolving sound than the regular pattern of an electronic instrument. Oboe. The double reed of an oboe produces more high harmonics than the flute. This creates a richer, more trebly, or reedy sound. If we number the fundamental as one and use a higher number for each higher harmonic, we can see that the frequencies strongest in the oboe are 1, 3, 5, 7, or the odd-numbered harmonics. Some of these are not higher octaves, but the in-between frequencies, the thirds and fifths that make for a very rich, bright tone. Here it is at half speed. Notice how large the third frequency is on the oboe. Acoustic guitar. Unlike the sustained notes of wind instruments, the guitar uses plucked strings that lose volume after the pluck or the attack of the note. Here's a single guitar note. It's the low A string. Here it is at half speed. The attack of a guitar note produces many high harmonics that decay or lose volume much faster than the fundamental lowest frequency. Here's an acoustic guitar playing an A major chord. Several notes at once in a guitar chord produce an explosion of upper harmonics simultaneously, providing a rich feast for the ears. 
Drums. Drum tone is very different. When drums and cymbals are combined, the full set has a tremendous frequency range, from below 100 cycles per second, or hertz, up to 20,000 hertz. The higher frequencies generated by drums and cymbals are not organized in predictable mathematic patterns as with the pitched instruments. These upper percussion frequencies are known as inharmonics. Let's see a rock drum kit playing a typical 4-4 pattern. Drums displayed horizontally by frequency. Here we're replacing our line of light with a cross section picturing drums in a set. When the low bass drum plays, you can see pictures of the bass drum. When the snare toms or cymbals play higher up, you can also see those images appear. Like the graphic equalizer, now bass is on the left and treble is on the right. The higher frequency snap of snare hits also raises the treble section. Uses for music animation. In this video, we've used music animated by frequency to show musical tone, but there are many uses for music animation ranging from entertainment to education to music mixing and creation. Even a new form of music notation is possible that would be much clearer and more intuitive than traditional music notation. For more information on music animation by frequency, videos and artwork of some of the world's favorite music, please visit www.musicanimation.net. Music animation is a very new and evolving field. Do you have suggestions for how music should be portrayed visually? What are some of your favorite tunes that you would like to see animated by frequency? Please like, subscribe, share, and comment.